everyone i'm coming at you with a wig review this will be on the stylist collection it's the swiss lace invisible deep part lace wig um, it has four inch parting space uh, invisible parting space and the color i got is a 1b and as you can see this is the wig fresh out of the pack um, the curls come a little uh, loose and synthetic looking straight out of the pack um, so I'm just giving you an up close look at that I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in with a brush or at least finger comb it just to make the comb uh, I'm sorry the curls look a little bit more realistic um, the wig of course comes with your basic cap construction which is the two combs in the front and a comb in the back of course and it also has your standard adjustable straps um, as far as the wig goes, it's not coming across as shiny in person. It may come across as a little shiny um, on the camera though, but uh, it comes with ear to ear lace and the parting space looks really good. I was really impressed with the parting space. Um, I just put my hand in there just so you can get a better look at how the parting looks. It looks really, really good. So all I'm going to have to do looks like is just go in with um, some pressed powder. That's what I use in my part and it should be good. So just showing you all the wig, I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and this is Wavy Wonder on. I love it. Um, it looked amazing time I put it on my head, honestly. I was I was in shock, um, but I did just go in and add, um, and I didn't cut that lace off good, now because I can see it. I don't know if y'all can, but I can see it. Um, I just went in, cut the lace off, and then added a little bit um, of, press powder my 355 press powder to the part fit me by maybelline um added that to the part brushed out the curls slightly i didn't want to just go crazy with brushing out the curls because i wanted to still have a little bit of curl to it um because this is definitely like a date night wig or special occasion type wig so um i didn't want to brush out the curl too much because i'm like it still need a little bit of curl so um i left some of the curls i just tucked this in um, behind my ear right here over here just so my earring will show I know y'all know what I'm talking about I like for my earrings to show um so I just did that and this is her I'll pull this side over so y'all can see but that parting space looks amazing um just with the pressed powder I mean you can go in and pluck it if you want but I'm telling y'all straight out the pack you don't really have to do all that plucking with this part because it looks just fine with just putting a little bit of concealer or powder me i put powder um in mine because i just likes the way i like the way it looks a little better with powder versus concealer but do you do whatever works for you um this is like i said definitely some date night hair like i'm feeling myself type hair um it has like a little piece that keeps sticking out right here i don't know how to feel about that like i think it's just a curl that's gone wild um i don't know if all units are like that i'm pretty sure if i just play with it that little piece will go back in but anyway that's just me i'm kind of picky when it comes to my wigs um but yes for a synthetic unit um this is bomb straight out the pack i'm telling y'all i'm not sponsored or anything like that so i'm telling you the truth um this wig is bomb straight out the pack you just spruce it up a little bit with the part brush out the curls a little bit so it don't look all loose and fake and it looks good even the color is good um it doesn't look super shiny i don't know how it's coming across on the camera but it's not super shiny in person it gives that real body wave effect um that's what i'm loving about it um as far as shedding i did get like a few strands but um let me see if i get some now like yeah like see shedding i don't know if y'all can see that but yeah it's i mean with your synthetic units that's what i always say it's gonna shed i know a lot of people don't like to deal with shedding but a synthetic unit you you get what you pay for so i don't really i'm not big on shedding like if it sheds oh well now if it's just hair all over my floor of course but if it's just a few strands here and there i'm cool with it because like i said it's synthetic um i got mine from i got this wig from samsbeauty.com 
um that's the model the, the color she's wearing is like a blue black i've seen that on a few other youtubers and it's really really pretty um and so i would try that but i'm not a real color person but if i'm you know feeling myself a little bit with this wig i'll probably go on and try this color because it's really pretty it's more like a navy blue not like a royal blue it's like a navy blue color so it's not just super flamboyant so um that's what i like about that color but yeah Got it from samsbeauty.com for like uh, 39, no, no, I'm lying, I'm lying. That was, that's what it was total. It was 39.99 total. So without um, the shipping, it was like $30, I guess. Yeah, 29.99, I'm assuming. Um, I'm not sure how much shipping was, but yeah, it's no more than $30 for this wig. So um, it is a great unit for 30 bucks. Like you, you can't complain, 30 bucks, come on now like fresh sewing in hair for 30 bucks yeah i'll take it <laughs> so yes um i hope you all enjoyed the video if you have any questions about the hair um just put it in the comments below i'm just picking up some of the shade and just leave it in the comments below and i'll try to answer any questions i can about this unit thank you all so much for watching see ya